Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamara. If this is your first time joining me, welcome to Glam Tam. So today's video is actually going to be like a little talk through, a little tip video. Um, and it is going to be, is your nail salon clean? I know that's like a weird question, but it's true. Like I hear a lot of women every single day where they don't know where to go because of the servers, because of how dirty or how clean the nail salons that they've been to have been. And let me just say, this is like absolutely no shade to anyone um, who works in a nail salon. This is no shade towards any nail salon out there. There's nothing wrong with going to get your nails done. I know how it feels to want to look cute, to want to feel cute. This is just to help those who don't know where to go or what to do or how to even look for a nice, clean and safe nail salon. So I just have a few tips what to look for when you are going to get your nails done. And the first tip is check the bathroom. If the bathroom is dirty, the salon is gonna be dirty. Employees and the owners care about their customers when they go to the bathroom and so they're gonna keep that clean for you guys. And if they're keeping that clean, then they care about the cleanliness of their whole salon. Just go in, tell them what you want or whatever, and say, you know what? I'll be right back. Let me go to the restroom real quick. And when you go in, just check, you know, just for the little things. What does it smell like? Does it smell like a porta potty? Check the toilet. Everyone uses the toilet when they go to the bathroom. Check for like extra dust. Have they wiped down everything in a while? And check the floors. Is the floor wet from, you know, extra little stuff that might drip on the floor? Are there paper towels everywhere? Toilet paper everywhere? So those are just little things to check for whenever you go to the bathroom. And that's a big sign as to if the nail salon that you're going to is clean. Number two, check and see if the tools that they're using before they use them on you are packaged. And what I mean by packaged is there's like these little white, like paper and plastic pouches and they're sanitary pouches. And if the tools are placed in those and before you get a pedicure or a manicure and they pull that package out, that is a really good sign. Because what that means is after they are done servicing you, they take the tools, they put them in barbicide, which disinfects the tools, kills all the bacteria off. And then um, they place the tools in the pouches, which keeps any bacteria from getting back on the tools and keeps them really, really clean before they use them on the next client. It's so, so, so important that the tools that are being used on you have been cleaned and disinfected and sanitized before they are used on you. If the feet carry a lot of um, bacteria, people's feet carry funguses. If your feet just naturally sweat, just think about how nasty that is after the person before you has gotten their pedicure and they're using those same tools on you and they haven't even cleaned them. If you notice that as you're waiting to get service that they're pulling out tools that have been packaged, then that is an awesome, awesome sign and you're more likely to not get any funguses or any infections um, while getting serviced. Number three, so whenever you do go get a pedicure, check the pedicure bows to see if they're aligned. Like I know there's a lot of nail salons nowadays actually do line their pedicure bowls with plastic liners. And what the plastic liners do is it keeps all the bacteria inside. So whenever they fill up the pedicure bowl, um, you put your feet in, after they're done with the pedicure, they drain all the water out and then they take that plastic and they just throw it away. And that is probably one of the best ways to keep everything in that pedicure bowl sanitize and clean and keep all the bacteria from going from one person to the next. Because when there is no plastic line, I guarantee you that the pedicure bowls are not being sanitized, which is like almost like taking a bath after someone. It's almost as bad as going to a hotel and taking a shower in a shower that has not been cleaned and like everyone before you that has rented that room has used that shower. So if the nail salon that you're going to isn't using these liners, then how are they cleaning the bolts? You know what I'm saying? After you get a pedicure, if they're just taking a spray bottle and spraying it and wiping it out, that's not killing nothing. That doesn't give the disinfectant time to actually do what it's supposed to do. Like you didn't get a chance to work. And if you want to know what they're using to clean the pedicure bowl, ask them. Pedicure liners is definitely going to help keep all the bacteria thrown away, keeping you from getting a fungus. Okay. And this is just a free tip. I'm gonna tell you guys this with no extra charge. Um, how do I say this? <laughs> if they're using something like on the bottom of your heel that looks like something that I can go get from my kitchen, hold up. If they're using something on your feet that looks like they went to Bed Bath & Beyond and got it, this is a cheese grater. Stop letting them use these. If they're using a cheese grater on your heels, guys. And this cheese grater is literally like scraping off the bottom of your heel. It's taking on too much skin. The bottom of your feet needs so much skin to be able to walk and run and, and not be able to feel anything. And so when it takes off too much skin, your foot is like, hold up, 
I need that skin. There's so many people out there who wonder why their heels are so hard, why they're cracking, and it's because of this. When you're scraping off everything that the foot actually needs, your skin is actually trying to rebuild and regrow itself. I understand that it makes your heel extra soft and extra smooth, and it gets rid of the dead skin. A few days later, that skin is, you know, gonna be rough and it's gonna be hard again. That's because your heels are like, I'm gonna do you a favor, and I'm gonna grow back for your sake so that you don't feel nothing on the bottom of your feet when you walk. And I know there are people out there who do struggle with the bottom of your feet, and I know that you have like excess callus buildup on the bottom of your heels. There are callus remover treatments, and you have to repetitively get that to actually see a difference in the heels. And instead of using the cheese grater, the proper way to do this is to use a foot file or a puma stone with the callus remover to actually um, work that callus off. So yeah, that was just a free tip. No extra charge. That was a long tip. I gotta keep y'all educated. The next tip is if you see a bug, and I'm not gonna mention what kind of bug I'm talking about. I'm just gonna insert a picture um, on the screen. If you see this type of bug, stop, drop, and roll on up out of there. I promise you. And I know, you know, sometimes you might be somewhere, you might be like, how did that bug get in here? You know, and we don't think nothing of it. These type of bugs like dirt, they tend to gravitate towards places that smell bad, they like a lot of moisture, um, they like where it hasn't been clean in a while. So if you're just sitting there and you see this type of bug just hanging out or whatever, I guarantee you that the rest of the family is sitting back there in the break room waiting for the roach to come back. Let them know if this is a good spot to hang out or not. And my last tip is pay close attention to the color of your fingernails and see your toenails. Um, if you see any type of discoloration after going to get pedicures and going to get manicures or whatever service you get regularly, if you see like some yellow or green or anything, typically that means that it's the start of a fungus, um, especially on your feet. If you get pedicures regularly, uh, foot fungus starts at the corner of the big toe and it starts to turn yellow, orange, um, like a creamy white sometimes. And what that is, your toenail is separating itself from the skin. So when this happens, if you don't treat it properly or immediately, the bacteria and the fungus will continue to grow. It's gonna to continue to separate from your skin. If you do not take care of it, your toenail will fall off. I don't know how that happens, but I promise you guys I have seen it. So what I will do is when you're getting your pedicure, if you see any type of discoloration, I will ask them to stop. I will go see a podiatrist or even a pharmacist. There are treatments and home remedies for foot funguses. And I also like to say, if you get cut during a service, please go home and clean it really, really, really well. Because you don't want any type of bacteria from anybody else going into that cut. That can cause major blood infections or skin infections. We just don't have time for all that because we're in there to get cute. Man, it's gonna be hard to be cute with an infection, you feel me? So yeah, that was the last of my tips. And these tips are just based off a personal experience that I have seen and day-to-day -day hearing people talk about their nail salon experiences. There are nail salons in every single corner and they all kind of look alike and they all kind of got the same thing going on. So I know it's probably hard nowadays to find a good nail salon to go to. I don't want to scare anybody with this video, but I just want to help somebody out there find a good nail salon where they feel comfortable and they feel clean at. Let's see, did I get everything? That is the end of my video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and all that good stuff. Yeah, I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye. <laughs>